hi everyone hope you are doing good welcome to the next video on my youtube channel my name is Saurabh Bharti Microsoft Dynamics 365 professional this is the platform where I come and share my knowledge and experience with you all so without further delay let's start the today's topic so today's topic is uh, part of our uh, playlist which is on the functional consultant skill set where we talk about the different activities and the skills required as a functional consultant and in the previous video in this series we started talking about the different test strategies then the different type of test uh, which a functional consultant needs to perform now it is very important that uh, when we are performing those different types of tests like whether it is end-to-end -end test or whether it's a functional test or or any type of testing which we are performing uh, it is very important for us to have a documentation and the traceability of uh, that now how do we do that uh, so as a recommended tool by microsoft we have the azure devops where we can manage this whole documentation or the activity which we are going to perform now to start with this activity first thing which we need to do is uh, the managing and creating the different test plans which we can have uh, in azure devops so just to give a disclaimer or the clarification uh, there are a lot of different features functionalities and the options which are available from the devops perspective uh, devops configuration the usability perspective but i'm trying to keep it minimal in terms of the awareness as a functional consultant which we need to have it so to start with uh, let's go to the next slide and uh, so why do we create the test plans right and how it is related with the different uh, the test types which we have discussed so that the objective and the scope of each test cycle so when we create a test plan we can create for each and every test cycle so let's say i am performing a end-to-end -end testing so there can be a cycle one there can be a cycle two the multiple iterations which we can do it so that we can uh, test it thoroughly we can resolve the issues and the bugs which we are getting so the test cases and test scripts that you will uh, use for each test cycle that you need to define the roles and the responsibility of the test teams and the stakeholder the test environment and the tools which are going to use entry access criteria the schedule and the duration of each test cycle the risk and assumptions that affects your testing activities the reporting and communication method that you will be using for each uh, test cycle so that is a very high level uh, 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 information about why the test plan is required when you do the testing in the system so now if you move uh, further in the slide and this is my uh, the slide from my previous video so Typically, I mean, these are the different test types and the test uh, phases which we have uh, uh, during the uh, project. And the highlighted ones are the typical test uh, types which we need to uh, perform as functional consultant. Now, how your test plan can relate, your test plan can be created for each and every type of these test types for the different test phases and also you can have uh, multiple test uh, uh, plans for each test type uh, saying the cycle one or cycle two and so on now when you are creating the test plan of course you need to execute those test plans and those test plans are executed through the test cases and the expected outcomes of each and every test case which we will have so test case is also you will hear many times we call it as test scripts so now the test cases when you are creating the process and the requirement that the test case covers so it is always against a requirement or the process for which you are creating this test case the prerequisites of or the entry criteria to execute the test cases such as there can be a, some configuration there can be some data dependency 
reproduction steps to perform the test case so you need to have these steps in the expected outcome or the exit criteria to validate the test result so these are the key things which we need to uh, understand and know before we start creating our test plan in the test cases how the typical test case looks like so this is a typical test case uh, which will look like so you will have let's say a process a prospect to cash uh, you have got the requirement where you have let's say creating sales order uh, based on servicing system part request and then there is some uh, prerequisites to that then the description and then you have the underneath you have the test case defined and that you have the different test steps here the data which you are going to use and this is your expected results and then you have actual results and then pass or fail so this is how your uh, your actual test case and the expected outcomes look like and that is your objective that you define everything uh, in the system and then you test it out and you can analyze your report uh, based on all these data sets which you provide in the system now if you talk about the test plan so as a functional consultant bare minimum what we need to understand is that there needs to be a test plan how do we create the test plan we will talk about it today uh, there are different methods like the, you can have a test plan created from uh, static requirements uh, based on suite and based on the uh, uh, the uh, static test plans based on suite and based on the query we will talk about static is like you create manually uh, different test suites and then uh, you create the test cases against that uh, based on the existing test suite means you have possibly the requirement and business processes listed already and against that you want to create your test cases and the query is like uh, any of the query which you have in Azure DevOps against which you would like to create the test uh, cases how do you create your test cases you can manually import uh, manually create you can import that or you can also use the business process modeler which i will be talking about how we can use it but how your typical test plan uh, looks like so you have got a requirement uh, you have got a user story now you can have uh, some product item backlog item and then against that you are possibly creating the test case now that test create is against the test suite and test plan so we will be talking about this whole hierarchy today and then there can be some shared steps in the parameter now outcome of this can be like when you are executing this test case you might find an issue so you can create the bug now if I talk about this, this is a very old diagram which is which I found from the MS Learn. But also in my opinion, this will be or this can be replaced with our new business process catalog which has been released by the Microsoft where we have a different level of processes and the patterns defined and we can use them and we can create all our test cases against that. So that can be the modified version or the use which you can have uh, of the business process catalog. So now uh, let's talk about this, how you create the test plan and all these different options which we have as a functional consultant, which we need to uh, be aware and create one, some few test cases manually and look at the import option also. And then in the next video, I will be talking about that, how you can create the test cases using the BPM library uh, in the in the Azure DevOps. So let's talk about the test plans first. So right now I am uh, on my Azure DevOps portal. I have uh, created, let's say there is a Dynamics class implementation this can be your own project which you are uh, having in the uh, system now on the left hand side you will see there is something called as test plans now as a prerequisite like uh, to create let's say that you want to create a test plan against some requirement or user stories so you can have those things created and as i mentioned 
that you can have those things created as part of your using your business process catalog microsoft has given you the importable azure devops file uh, csv files so you can create with that but let's talk about this so you can have the test plans here which you can create now if i go back you can create different test plans so for example let's say i have e2e testing i have functional test i have regression testing and all those things so i can create the different test plan for that so i for example i have created the e2e testing here so uh, this i can create it uh, then if i go inside this or how do you create i mean it is very simple let me also try to show you so you can create a new test plan. So let's say now I want to create this as a E2E, e, let's say cycle two. Now, uh, and then you can create a, which path you want to use, which is sprint or the iteration you want to use. And you can click on new uh, create here and then it will be created here. Now, if I go back, uh, I have uh, all my test plans uh, here. Uh, I can open one of the test plan, let's say E2E cycle one. Now against this E2E cycle one, I need to have the different suits created. So test suits, so test suits is you can say that it is based on, it is kind of a grouping which you are creating against which you will be doing the testing. Now the test suits can be uh, manually if you are creating it that first thing is you can create based on the different area let's say finance supply chain and then you can even further very uh, 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 divide them as a AR AP or GL now how do you create your test suites uh, so you can create a new suite like static which is like which I have used so creating a new manually uh, let's say AP AR or something you can create based on the requirements so you can have all your uh, list of requirements here and for all your requirements you can fetch as a test suite that is another option which you have it uh, the last option which you have is the query based the query based can be let's say you don't want to do based on um, the you, you don't want to do based on uh, the requirement but you want to do based on the business processes or, or let's say you are using the business process catalog released by the Microsoft so you can use that uh, and then you can create the test suits and then further that against that you can create the different test cases which are required once that is done uh, you can even create a, a, a hierarchy here you can also assign certain uh, testers to run all the test cases uh, like who will be running them you can import your test suits if you have it in excel export the template uh, you can rename you can assign certain configuration that which browser or the sys operating system like it is going to use so those configurations can be defined here so that is about your uh, the test uh, uh, plan and then under the test plan you have the test suits created now if i go back to my uh, the powerpoint so here we have test plan then the test suits and this is what i am assuming that it is already prerequisite. Yes, i have even created a, a a video in the same series i'm not sure which part it was maybe fifth sixth or seventh part where i talked about how do you use your azure devops to manage your process catalog or hierarchy or the requirement so this is already discussed as part of that now we created this now again says we need to have the uh, the test cases created now if i want to create the test case against this uh, let's say if i want to create against this so i can go here and uh, create the test case uh, based on the uh, we can add the existing test case if i have it this i will show you using possibly uh, a ppm library that using the task recorder in the next video and you can create using the test grid also but if i just create a new test case uh, this is how it looks so let's say i want to create a test case for uh, create a pr let's say so now here i can add the step uh, let's say navigate uh, to procurement and sourcing then you can uh, 
you you can you can create a recommended source sourcing all all purchase requisitions and then click uh, new so you can just uh, keep creating the uh, you can just keep creating the different steps so here you can put like enter name uh, description and anything basically all the steps which are required and then you can have the expected result that uh, what is the expected result so let's say once you click on save uh, PR uh, uh, created then you have submitted PR and then if you also want to attach something you can click on the attachment let's say if you want to put some supporting screenshot or anything you want to have it you can just create it here right and then you have this sim uh, as your devops use if you have like whom to assign and everything you can just uh, assign it and then you can click on the save and uh, close your test case is available here to perform now you also have an option of uh, exporting this and importing the test cases so if you have the test cases written in your excel spreadsheet or the csv so you can import your test cases using that so this is the high level uh, uh, understanding of that how you can create the test suits test plans and the test cases manually now we will be talking about uh, uh, that how you can create the test cases using let's say the task recorder which we have in dynamic so that we need not to type all those steps and we will use the business process manager modeler in lcs for that that's it for this video hope this is going to help you about understanding how your test plans and the test suits are created for your execution purpose thank you for this watching this and see you in the next one